You're gonna be doing hundreds, if not more, plug welds on the restoration when I figure out how to do it the right way. So I wanna talk about why weld through coatings suck. And I don't mean from the performance. I just mean trying to weld through them. If you've used them before, you know what I'm talking about. So we wanna go ahead, plug weld these two panels together. So we use our weld through coating on the inside and we'll do our plug welds through here. Well, what you'll see is trying to break through this coating uh, with MIG welding, which is a short circuit type welding, that wire has to sort of skip off this non-grounded piece till it burns through, then hits your base metal, and then go ahead and you do the plug weld. You end up with a large volcano type weld. I'll show you how to eliminate that and get perfect plug welds every time with either a weld through coating or even better, a 2K epoxy and this. A 316, 516 or quarter inch end mill whichever uh, size hole you're gonna plug well through. Let me show you what I mean. You can pick up end mills anywhere on the internet. You're looking for a four flute end mill with the same diameter as your plug weld hole and in a 3 8 shank for your cordless drill. Uneven plug welds done the traditional way. And then here you have nice flat plug welds done the new way. I'm gonna be using 3 16 diameter plug weld holes here. So I'll go ahead and punch them in. On a side note, notice the welder's third hand there in the uh, blue bikini. Using the existing method of welding through the weld through coating, you can see how uneven the welds are, the excess spatter, and that high volcano on the second plug weld, which will require too much grinding. Simply insert the end mill, turn the drill slow until you see clean metal. So now we've removed our coating only where we want to start the weld. So we'll go ahead and do a plug weld on these panels. You'll see how much nicer it is. Here I'm just laying a small machinist square across these things. And you can see how low and flat they are, still achieving full penetration, requiring no grinding. Bonus tip here, for superior corrosion resistance, simply wire brush each plug weld, brush on our after weld, let it sit five minutes, then wipe off with a rag soaked with acetone. So definitely use weld through primer. I'm not saying not to. I'm just saying use this technique that I showed you to make everything better. Ultimate protection, 2K epoxy. You put this on the inside of both panels, let them sit for about an hour, put them together, go ahead and do all your plug welds, 40 years of corrosion protection that you have in there. So as always, see some cool stuff, go over to eastwood.com.